in, in the culture, the church culture that I grew up in, when you became a Christian, there was an expectation that you were either a missionary or a pastor. So I, I went to Covenant College where their motto is, in all things, Christ preeminent. And they, they, they really teach you that as a believer, no matter what your profession is, that you are expected to do it Christianly, that you're to, you're to claim that area for Christ. And, and that, that excited me just, just to think that I didn't feel called to be a pastor. I didn't feel called to be a missionary, um, but yet I was called to be a physician and as a Christian to do that Christianly. As I grew in my faith, I, I, I began to wrestle with uh, how does work and, and how does being a Christian combine? You know, I, I'm around a lot of pastors and a lot of professors and a lot of seminary type folks and, and church planners and um, can you be just a Christian that happens to be a car dealer? And... About the third year of the mission conference, I walked down and said, God, I'll go where you want me to go, do what I want you to do. There are people who need, and particularly children, because I saw and was beginning to hear and seeing how the culture was changing and so much was coming into their lives. And just as it was mine. And so, you know, you look and you say another thing that God says, um, remember your Creator in the days of your youth. So when hard things come through, your heart will not be hardened, that you can still have me. So I need to share this with somebody. So I just prayed God and said, you know, where do I need to go? I really felt like God was calling me to start a practice. And um, I. I had a, an attending physician, one of my teachers, who also felt God calling him to do that. And so we just kind of started from scratch and looked around the city of Augusta and felt like the, the biggest need for healthcare was in South Augusta. And it was interesting just to see the doors open and finally St. Joseph's Hospital, which was the only faith-based hospital in Augusta, finally said, you know, we, we're excited about you guys going down there. And, and they helped us start, and um, and, it, and it's been good just to see how when God calls you to something, He will provide. And I think for me, it's just clear that God opened doors and provides for us. And began to come up with a theology of vocation that says that every vocation is God given, and and we try to try to serve the Lord Jesus the best we can and, and where He's placed us, not necessarily having to leave where we are. Although if he called you to do that, that'd be something we'd need to do. But um, as we did that, we came up with a thing that we call a round table. That's been a way that we uh, minister to, to our customers and our employees and, and friends, uh, really churched people in town that we uh, try to do an outreach with. We have men come over and they can ask any question they want about scripture, or the Bible, or God, or life, or whatever. And, and our, our deal is we're going to answer those questions using scripture alone. And, and out of that, we hopefully have the opportunity to share the gospel with them at the end of those meetings and that's sort of how we came to the decision that I don't necessarily have to sell everything and leave but I can minister right where we are and, and serve the Lord Jesus that way. And God in His providence in the next year brought me to Release Time Christian Education and that's exactly what we do. We teach them the Word of God. Uh, we say, well, why would you get up as a retired person and go out two or three days a week to work? You know, what better job in a missionary? In a missionary, you live among the people and you teach the people, well, these are our neighborhoods. And this is a neighborhood that I live near to. And so that you can come in and, and be a part of the children's life. And you see that when not only does the Word go out to them, but it goes out to their families. So God brought me here and uh, right to this very school. They were, this was the second year of release time, and they were opening at Montesana, and that was about 2002, 2003. We're still here taking 65 um, third and fourth graders over to teach them the Word of God and to see how God can snatch them out of darkness into light. 